Hey, I'm Michael. I've been working with Nathan and Andreas on Krypton. Krypton is a trading protocol that is resistant to front-running, short-term adverse selection and mine extractable value. Existing trading systems execute quantities at single points in time. This concentration of value transfer confers critical importance on the ordering of trades. This is what ultimately allows faster and more sophisticated traders to take advantage of regular users, such as retail investors and pension funds. In blockchain ecosystems, miners are the final arbiters of block sequencing. This effectively gives them negative latency and turns miners into the ultimate toxic traders. This is also what produces mine extractable value. To solve this, Krypton executes trades as continuous flows over time instead of implementing trades in a single instant. Trades that arrive in the same block are recognized as having happened or having started at the same point in time, regardless of transaction sequencing. Krypton changes the traditional perspective of demand and supply from price-inducing quantity to price-inducing trading speed, meaning quantity per unit of time. Less sophisticated traders can simply request a low trading speed to credibly signal the absence of an intention to monetize short-term information advantages. On Krypton, traders can select a trading speed that is in line with their time to respond to a change in market conditions, effectively choosing their own handicap. A trader who wants to profit from short-term information needs to request a high speed, but this will bump up against the trading speed cap imposed by the other side and also move the price against them. On Krypton, the intention to trade fast reveals the information advantage before too much damage can be done. In traditional exchange mechanisms, such as AMMs and limit order books, by the time a trade has revealed information, the damage has already been done because the entire quantity that can be traded at the prevailing market price has been traded. Welcome to Krypton's trading UI. The graph represents the current state of the order book. On the horizontal axis, we have price, and the vertical axis is trading speed in Bitcoin per second. OK, let's buy some Bitcoin. We choose a quantity of one Bitcoin and a trading speed of one thousandth of a Bitcoin per second. At a price of about $55,000 per Bitcoin, this means we limit our risk to exchanging $55 per second. As the execution price fluctuates, Krypton automatically slows down trading if the price moves against us and speeds up trading if the price moves in our favor. This is achieved by setting two limit prices. Our buy order trades at the maximum speed at or below the lower limit price and does not trade at all at or above the upper limit price. In between these prices, trading speed is linearly interpolated. Let's see it in action. So we make the order and we confirm our transaction on MetaMask. Now let's go down into our list of active orders. So we see a new order just appeared. This order is now trading at slightly over half of a thousandth of a Bitcoin per second. As we can see from the progress bar, it very slowly executes. The price we're getting is $54,396.42. If at any point in time we become unhappy with our order, we can simply cancel the order and it will immediately stop executing. The mechanism's economic efficiency comes at the cost of significantly higher computational complexity. Krypton's matching engine and order processing are so computationally demanding that no public decentralized blockchain ecosystem in existence today could handle the workload. Instead, Krypton is implemented as a hybrid smart contract that leverages the power of Chainlink decentralized Oracle technology to offload its computationally most expensive aspects using a novel generalized off-chain compute approach that is based on external adapters, keepers, and Merkle trees. So in summary, Krypton makes trading fair for everyone by solving these information theoretic inefficiencies that have plagued trading since its existence. As such, Krypton is more economically efficient than anything else that exists in CeFi or DeFi today. To make it work on blockchains, Krypton relies on Chainlink's decentralized Oracle technology to develop a novel scaling approach. Thank you very much.